This is the Weber test. So we're going to see how it looks like in a person with sensoneural hearing loss versus conductive hearing loss. So sensoneural hearing loss, um, neural hearing loss, um, you can put sensoneuron hearing loss. So this is a patient, left ear, right ear, and he comes in with left-sided hearing loss. So Weber test, you activate it, the tuning fork, put it right on top of their head, and you ask the patient which side do you uh, hear the sound or feel it. So a normal person, he would feel it equally on the left ear and the right ear. But for sensoneural hearing loss, pretend there's a neuron that comes like this, right where you put the tuning fork. So if a person comes in with a left-sided hearing loss, pretend that the neuron that's going to the left ear is not working. So when you do the tuning fork, you put it on top of their head, they can only feel it on their right ear. So for sensoneural hearing loss, it lateralizes to the unaffected ear. So it lateralizes to the good ear. You don't feel it in the bad ear. Alright guys. So let if a person comes in with a right side of hearing loss and you do the Weber test. So there's a right side of hearing loss so he has no special neuron going to the right ear. So when you do the Weber test he'll say, oh I feel it on my left ear, the good ear. I don't feel anything on my right ear because there's no neuron. This is a hyper so there because there's no neuron. So a patient comes in with the right side of hearing loss. So you'll do the Weber test. You put it right on top of their head. And this is the example I was using. Pretend there's a neuron going to your left ear or the right ear, left ear, right ear. So since he has a right side of hearing loss, he come the patient comes in. You do the Weber test. The, if the patient says, oh, I don't feel it in my right ear, which is a bad ear. I feel it in my left ear, the good ear. That means he's having a sense of neural hearing loss. So you feel it on the opposite ear, the good ear. Left ear, right ear. Pretend that there's like a highway, a road. There's a road going to the left ear, there's a road going to the right ear. In conductive hearing loss, there's like some kind of blockage, an obstruction. So this person, for example, comes in with right side of hearing loss, you'll do the Weber test, you put it right on top of their head. When you activate it and you put it on their head, there's sound waves going both ears. The good ear, there's no blockage, so the sound waves exit out smoothly. But the bad ear, there's a blockage, so when the sound waves come here, it's blocked, so the sound waves are all piling up. There's no way to escape. This side, they're all leaving peacefully. No traffic. Here is blocked. A lot of cars are honking their horns. It's a little louder. So a patient comes in with a right side of hearing loss. You do the Weber test. And if it's louder on the side of the bad ear, that's conductive hearing loss. So a patient comes in with a left side of hearing loss. Left side is bad. And when you do the Weber test and the patient says he feels it more on the left side, the bad side he feels it, then it's conductive. Because there's a blockage, the sound waves are coming through, they're being obstructed, they stop piling up, it gets louder and louder. The right side is good, it leaves peacefully. So conductive, 
the sound lateralizes to the bad ear. So for sensorineural hearing loss, there's no neuron going to the bad ear, so the sound lateralizes to the good ear.